Hi, my name is Bora Jambula, and in this video, we are going to continue to our Fest API project. And in the last video, we have just created our uh, histogram by using the Seaborn this time, and we have just tried in Sibagur UI and also directly by using the URL, and we had a problem uh, which is overlapping problem uh, for the matplotlib causing from the matplotlib and we have just solved it by using this command after creating uh, after sending the image to the uh, javascript site now uh, we just in this video we are, we are just try to get the we just try to get the image into the JavaScript site. So to do this, I'm not going to use this file now. I'm going to create a new one. So let's say uh, get image, for example, get image.html, create a new one. Let's use the title get the image. And now we have our API ready and with this URL histogram slash n and inside this as we have learned in the previous videos we can just use fetch or we can just use jQuery again let's start with fetch again so let's say let's create a script section and let's say fetch and the url is what was it uh, http is local host and then histogram n all right let's say 100 for example all right and after this again we are going to do the same thing so let's say let's say then and take the response and return response dot globe because it's a file it's not a text so we are going to return all the file and then like we did in this file here we are going to use the same structure so Again, we are going to use another then here by using this response now. And let's say image globe and then a function. All right. So we don't have anything in this HTML file now. So uh, I think we should create it first so let's say for example constant image is going to be equal to documents so dom means document object model as you you may know and now we have the access to this model now by using document keywords and we are going to add another element to this model and uh, as you know uh, to show images in the HTML in the HTML files, we are going to use the img tag. So we are going to create an element, and this element is going to be an img because we are going to show an image inside this element, and this tag, this element, uh, has its attributes. And the main attribute is, as you may know, src, which uh, which is the source of this image. So I'm going to give the value for this attribute. Uh, image that src is URL dot creates object URL 
by using directly from this blob value. So let's say image blob. So this part basically creates a URL by using our blob data. All right. So all these things are going to happen on the fly without using the image. So let me complete this part. You are going to understand when you see the output. So now we are going to uh, use this element that we have created and append this element into which part? Of course, into the body, because in this HTML file, we just have the body part now. So let's say documents that body that append child with image like this. All right, if we did it correctly, then JavaScript tried to fetch from this API, try to get the data from this. API this URL and the response is going to be a blob all right and then uh, put this blob file into an IMG tag so let's try it now uh, first start our API of course and let's click this link and we got the image all right it's very easy let's see the source first all right we have the source this part is just coming from the pie charm so it's not important this part is for us all right we can also see the console This part is not important it's not it's nothing with us so we have the elements and here this is our element which we have created right uh, it's a blob so it's just a created URL right it's just created and sent to the front-end sites and uh, we just use it like this but there's one problem and the problem is uh, this is not an interactive plot right so uh, the main objective of this course is to create interactive plots and we can just do this by using of course, in the JavaScript side, by using, uh, for example, D3JS library. But uh, for this stage, I'm just going to try to use this D3 library in the Python side and then try to generate the HTML codes and then try to send this HTML output to the API. And then I'm going to try to show you the, how we can show this HTML output in our uh, JavaScript uh, generated HTML files. And the next video, we are going to do this. See you.